adjusting property columns. When we go into our layer command, and that opens up our layer properties manager, we have various columns across the top. We can change the size and the width of a particular uh, column. For example, if I go in between two columns, I get a double arrow. When I hold my left mouse button down, I can drag over and change the size of that particular column so that you can see more of it. If I double click in between the two, it maximizes this column. In other words, it makes the column width as wide as it needs to be to fit all the data in. And sometimes you get not enough, sometimes you get too much. So you can come over here, double click, and it shortens it up so that even the long things can fit in right up to the edge so you can serve more space. Now, I can right click on one of the columns headings and say maximize all columns. And when I do that, every column, you can read everything at that time. Now, we also, if I right click on this column heading, we have optimize all columns. And when I optimize them, I'm essentially shrinking it down so all the words can be read, but the icons get shrunk down. So where we have the plotting, for example, we see the icon, but we don't see the word plot. You'll notice this vertical bar that goes up and down to the right side of the names. This is the freeze or the frozen position. So in other words, we can move these around, but anything to the left is kind of locked in position. If I right click, I can come over here and say unfreeze the column. Then the names can get moved around. I do not recommend that. The name is one of the most important things. I really like it on the left, so I'm not a big fan of unfreezing that, but you certainly can if, for example, you want it on the right side. So in here, uh, we can also customize what's turned on and off. You could take various things and say, I don't want it in my layer dialog box, and it goes away. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of that. I think you need everything in here. However, you might want to order things around in a different order. You might just drag and drop the color in between the line weight and the line type. So you just hold on to the column heading and drag and drop it, and you can reorder them. So you can adjust these property columns as needed. Um, and also remember that the columns do sort uh, with this sorting arrow up here in this column. Personally, uh, remember you can scroll back and forth. So I like to go, uh, the one I'm learning is to maximize all columns. Now I can read all these things. I might have to scroll back and forth. Okay. You can also make your uh, dialog box look a little bigger perhaps if you have the room. That might help. But uh, you need to fit and customize the layer uh, properties columns uh, to your own personal liking.